What happened to this fire hydrant? Zed sure does like that shaded wall and that nice dirt out there. Griffin, what have you done? I have made the two-story doggy farm. <laughs> so the closet has had some renovations. Not only do we have a bunch of new weird boxes up here, but um, I hung up some stuff because we've got this bar here now. So that's nice. And I have this makeshift curtain here. So this curtain is just a blanket, but it actually works really well as a curtain. It's just temporary though, so yeah. And everything's looking generally pretty nice, um, except for the desk, which still has stacks of clothes on it, but they're gonna stay there until I'm able to get a wardrobe in here. Meanwhile, Griffin's room is as messy as ever. Mom is working on cleaning it up right now. I'm organizing it, I'm trying. Yeah. Uh, Mom and Dad have some curtains here for their bedroom, and they've been sorting some more things. And, um, oh yes, so Zed has been here sleeping on this suitcase for the past maybe four or five hours, because that's just what he does. This is the lovely closet that my mom and dad possess. It's very nice. We actually didn't see Boo Boo for like three days and we were kind of worried, but then he showed up again last night. So I don't know. Uh, he seems like he's probably sticking around. Um, we were worried there for a second. At first he was doing well, then he didn't show up. And now it's like, okay, so he'll, he'll probably, he'll probably be all right. Do you like that carpet, Trixie? Is that nice? Yeah. Hi, Rasmus. Oh, Griffin's closet is actually getting somewhat organized. Oh my gosh, that is going fast. <laughs> yeah. Roscoe just woke Zed up by walking through here and sniffing him, and now he's getting all lethargic. This is chaos. I don't know what's happening. Oh gosh! Oh! 24 hour closet challenge 2.0. <laughs> Trixie! <laughs> Except this time the closet is really small and we have a dog and another human. What you doing there, Griffin? Griffin? Oh! But Griffin, <laughs> why did you do he this? Want to come down. This was not a good idea. <laughs> Griffin put Zed on the oh, high. No. <laughs> Boo Boo, what are you doing? I just. Boo Boo just wandered upon me while I was sitting on the porch and now he's kind of losing his mind for whatever reason. But he's ready to come inside now, I think. You wanna hop the fence or you wanna go through? Oh, okay, nope. More weird shenanigans in the dirt, I guess. Yep. He's a really nice guy. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Conscience. It's time to let the sugar gliders out. Except we can't stop them. For the first time in a long time. Alright, well that didn't work. The gliders did not want to come out, so we're going to try another time. Anyhow, I am in my room tonight at the house. My roommate is actually gone for the weekend. So I figured I'd spend Saturday night here at the house, try out the new bed, and just see what it's like. So I'm looking forward to this. Good morning, everybody. I slept very well in this bed. My stuffed animals are kind of in a mess over here. I guess I pulled them out over to this end of the bed a little bit farther during my uh, sleeping. There's a kitten, just a little kitten, just sitting there on the curb. It's so cute. It's so adorable. Look at this kitten. Oh, it's just walking under the car. I'm gonna go see if I can, you know, approach this kitten without scaring it too badly. What's going on the porch now? interesting. It's the Q to Q here at Tech Week. More chaotic than ever. Someone really likes pizza apparently. All these people are dead now. That guy kind of looks like Paul Rudd. Eh, only a little bit. The more you look at him, the less he looks like Paul Rudd. I feel like I haven't filmed much this weekend. 
I always think that though, and then I end up having filmed quite a bit, so I don't know how much I actually filmed. But in any case, it's time to launch into the school week. Let's go. By the way, I said that with much more enthusiasm than I actually feel about launching into the school week. Hello everyone. So whatever fragments of sickness I have left are kind of centralizing themselves in my nose now, which is not fun. The most terrifying thing about the administration building is that it always seems to be facing directly towards you no matter where you are. This man had the audacity to land on me, jerk. It's just a bunch of plants. I thought this was an exit sign for a split second, but I'm pretty sure it's a condom filled with water. So that's interesting. Oh, there's another one. Thought there might be. That, the, oh, good Lord. That really isn't that funny. I mean, come on, guys, you can do better. Excuse me. What do you have there in your mouth, young man? Hey, hey, where are you going? This place is literally, it, it's like a minefield of acorns. Look at this. They're everywhere. Chixi, what you doing there, huh? There's a squirrel. There's a squirrel. That is a squirrel, right? Yes, that's a squirrel. Hello. Skittish, like most squirrels are. What's up, what's going on? Yep. It's time for our first full tech rehearsal. I'm talking costumes. All, all the stuff. We're not actually doing makeup for this show, which is interesting. It is an Amish community, so I kind of understand that. But at the same time, stage makeup is part of what makes actors' faces visible on stage. However, the, the guy who lights the stage, Damon, is basically a human god. And he is able to, through his lighting techniques, make our faces actually look good without makeup. So that's cool. I also get to wear a fake beard, and I get to apply it with spirit gum. Yay! I feel like an idiot. Well, the fountain's almost overflowing again, but the water is at least a somewhat natural color. I have the same professor for my first two classes, and she just canceled both of them. So that's cool. Like, actually really cool for me, because I have been running behind on things. And this is a great opportunity to catch up, so that is what I'm going to do. What are you doing? Why are you rubbing against the chair? Trying to pet yourself? You itching yourself? What are you doing? What are you digging for, Trixie? Oh god, I'm gonna dig a massive hole now, I bet. Oh no, she was just digging a hole for her to lay down in so it was cooler. I see. Oh boy. It's food time. Alright. And yeah, shut up, Zed. There you go. Food. The hell was that? I get you food. What do you want? Oh, yeah, now he finally noticed it. This is not pleasant at all. This fake beard is pretty nice, though. It's pretty, pretty, uh, like, pretty realistic. I think it's made from real human hair, actually, which is kind of creepy, but, you know. These acorns are the bane of my existence right now. Oh, my God. All right, guys, well, that's all I got for you today, so see you guys next time. Ah!